guys, welcome back. So today is a really fun video and it's gonna be my summer essentials. What I recommend that everybody has or at least in some variation of what I'm gonna show you. And I did team up with my friend Crystal Lynn from Crystal Lynn or Makeup and Me. So she's also gonna be sharing her summer favorites. So I'll have her channel and her video link below. So go check that out so you can get some more summer essential ideas. And also Crystal's hosting a Stella Dot Trunk show right now, so make sure you, you go and check out some of the amazing new markdowns. They have like up to 40% off on Stella and Dot, which is a jewelry line, a jewelry line which I'm wearing right now. I have the the earrings. Actually everything that I'm wearing is Stella and Dot. So let's get started with my summer essentials. So first up, I'm gonna talk about self tan and I have two that I know and love. The first one you guys might know that I already love it because I featured it in my last last monthly favorites. It's the Tarte Resilience and it just looks like that and it's a really nice natural looking tan and it just it's easy to work with. It doesn't have a really bad self tan scent to it but one that I've been using just recently and I think it takes the cake for first place is this one here. This is the Vita Liberata and this is the Luxury Tan with the Moisture Lock Odor Remove Phenomenal. Two to three week tan in medium. So it looks like that. It is a lotion. It just comes in a pump like that and it did come with a tiny little mitt but the mitt was so small that I just decided to use the mitt that I got with my Tarte Resilience and this stuff is amazing. Every self tan, every self tan, let me stress, every self tan that I've ever used, whether it's a spray tan that you go and get done professionally or a spray tan in the booth or any drugstore spray tan, high end spray tans, everything that I've used, I cannot stand the smell that I, the smell that I am the smell it makes me have when I have a self tan. Once that, once that active ingredient starts to make yourself tan, what is it called? I think it's called DHA and it has a an odor to it. I don't think you can really get around it until this. <laughs> so what I do when I self tan is you of course want to exfoliate, don't moisturize. I like to do it at nighttime so I can put it on, wear a loose t-shirt to bed, wake up and shower right away in the morning because I wake up and I smell so bad. It even affects my night sleep a little bit because I like every time I wake up every now and again and I'm like oh I just smell so bad I cannot wait to take a shower in the morning but you know it's worth it to do a self tan it's not like detrimental to my sleep but you guys know what I'm saying beauty is pain sometimes and sacrifice but I tell you what this stuff doesn't have absolutely any self tan scent zero zilch nothing and I'm probably dedicating way too much of the time in this video to this but this stuff is ac absolutely fantastic I self tanned the night before last and I didn't take a shower in the morning I was going to but I just got doing things and I did not smell all day I smelled just regular so if self tan smell is a problem for you, then this, I highly recommend it. It is more expensive. I got mine at Sephora. I will have it linked below. And it's supposed to last two to three weeks. Now that's with when you apply it correctly and when you read the directions. I'll just say that and then you can read the directions if you have it. But I love it. Whether you are bronze goddess from a self tan or you're not, it's really important to hydrate your skin in summer. It's important to do it year round, but in the summertime you might not need as thick of a lotion or a body cream that you do in the winter because it's a little more humid out. I am a dry person all over, so I do a really thick cream in the winter months and every other month but summer but what I find that works really nice in the summertime it's quick it's easy but at the same time it does moisturize your body and it's good stuff it is the Saint Ives fresh hydration lotion and it looks like that this is basically one of those spray lotions I know the Vaseline brand has one this is the one I have I love this I particularly love the scent of it and it is just a tad more hydrating than the Vaseline brand that I've noticed fast absorbing non greasy that's definitely true the scent that I have is coconut milk and orchid extract it smells so good and of course who doesn't want to smell good all year round but summer especially you want to smell fruity and floral and fun so I love this it's just really easy and then just kind of, you know, 
rub it in like that. So I love that and recommend that specific brand and scent. Super important, especially when you're outside, but it is important all year round to wear an SPF. And this is just a Mirad product that I've been using. You can see that it's almost gone. It's the Mirad Essential C Daily Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I am assured that I am getting the SPF that I need. Now, this I've been using, like I said, since probably the winter months or so, and I've been mixing it with my Cebu Sea Buckthorn Oil. I just put a little bit of this in the oil, mix it together, and put it all over my neck, my chest area, and then my face. This provides enough moisture for me on its own, but I just like the extra moisture because I'm all about slathering my face with oils whenever I get the opportunity. But this one is amazing for the face. Now for the body and the face when you're going to be outside, when you're outside for the entire day, you need to apply one ounce, which is like a, sh a shot glass size, of sunscreen, preferably waterproof, and you can do Banana Boat, you know, any of the drugstore brands are perfectly fine, Neutrogena. Anyway, you need to do one shot glass or one ounce for your French face, which is your the decollete area, all your face, your neck, your ears, and the back of your neck. That's your French face, and you need to reapply that when you're outside all day, every two hours. So if you're inside, you know, at an office job or, or whatnot, or something similar like that, you don't need to reapply every two hours, but when you're outside all day in the sun, it's so important. And those are new, I believe those are new FTC guidelines in 2014, so just something if you wanted to learn more, I would just encourage you to Google it and read some more about, about it, but that is what I've been taught and that's what I practice too. So we got the self tan, we're moisturizing, and we're wearing on sunscreen. Now, I'm gonna talk a little bit about makeup and then we'll get into some, I think it's everything, yeah. We'll talk a little bit about some makeup and some summer essentials for makeup and then I'll move into some more fashion accessory type things. So, what I love to wear in the summer is a more lightweight color complexion product that will just even out my skin. I don't need a full coverage. I, you know, you want your skin to kind of breathe a little bit in the summer months and you don't really want a lot on there. At least I don't because I sweat that stuff off like crazy. I'm such a sweater so I don't want to even waste my time putting on a lot of face products because it's going to melt off if I'm going to be anywhere but inside an air conditioned area. <laughs> So I love these. These are the Jouer Luminizing Moisture Tint and also the Jouer Matte Moisture Tint. And I actually mix these together. Obviously if you have more oily skin you could just do the matte or if you have dry skin you could just do the lumi Luminizing luminizing, and you know customize it depending on your skin type. But I love these both together and it just gives a really beautiful light to medium coverage. It's actually a lot more coverage than you would think. Let me actually show you the the bottle so it just comes in a squeeze tube the matte is more of a satin packaging and the luminizing is more of a shiny glossy lacquer like container so you can purchase these on the Jouer website or you can also purchase them I believe at Nordstrom I'll have it linked below wherever you can purchase it I can't think of it right off top of my head but there are a couple places where you can order it the matte moisture tint I have is in the shade linen and then the luminizing is an opal and I love these. You probably do want to set these with a little bit of powder and go from there, but I really love these. They do provide just a really beautiful coverage. It's not full coverage or anything. It's not going to be cake face, but something to kind of even you out and give you the appearance that you tried a little bit, <laughs> even when you're going to be out and about in the heat. Oh, and the luminizing moisture tint has 20 SPF and the matte has SPF of 15. So. Still important, I think, to make sure you're getting your SPF in your moisturizer or using a separate moisturizer, something like this. This is the NARS SPF sunscreen. It's just a, it's a primer, a makeup primer, but it has the sunscreen in it. And Neutrogena has one that's just a sunscreen lotion, and I recommend that one. It's really lightweight. It does have a really bad sunscreen scent, but it is a drugstore option that is more affordable than something like that. I think having a bronzer year round is super important, but it's fun in the summer when you're wearing more, you know, showing more skin, maybe you want to use a 
bigger bronzer to bronze up your shoulders. This one is amazing and I highly recommend pausing the video, going to Sephora.com and I'll have this link below and getting this. It's $22 for a bronzer that is as big as my head. <laughs> it has such a nice scent to it. It is a matte bronzer and it looks like that. You can see that I've been using it like crazy but it's gonna work on anywhere from pale skin up to more medium skin. I probably wouldn't recommend it for darker skin girls. Um, I have talked about this a lot before and I've been wearing it a lot in my recent videos. It just has such a nice fresh scent to it. Biggest bang for your buck ever. So this is the Sephora, how should I tell you what it is? I get so excited and I forget to tell you what the products are. Sephora Sol de Rio Bronzing Powder and look how, the, how cute the packaging is. And this is 25 grams. I challenge you to get this and Whoever hits pan on this first wins a prize. <laughs> That's a joke, but I mean basically what I'm trying to say is extremely great bang for your buck quality and quantity both. I love that it's also huge, obviously because it has a lot of product, but it's easier to get your bigger brushes in there and then you can cover a lot more body space in less time. That's what one of the reasons why I recommend this one, especially for summertime. So when I think of summer essentials, I think of product products that are good to have when you're gonna be doing summer activities. Basically, you're gonna be outside, and it's hot outside in the summer, duh. <laughs> but you're gonna want more waterproof products. So I have three different products that will give you some colors for, just like a wash of color on your eyelid, and I have drugstore options and non-drugstore options. The first one I have is Badge of the Bronze and these are all kind of a bronzy champagne family and they just look beautiful on the lid with some waterproof mascara that I'm going to talk about here in a second and you can be assured that they really will stay on most of the most of the day you know if you have extremely oily eyelids you know obviously you'll have to give and take that a little bit but for me they really do stay on and this is Bad to the Bronze Maybelline color tattoo so there's Maybelline color tattoo Bad to the Bronze you guys have all seen it it's a great affordable option so there's Maybelline color tattoo in Bad to the Bronze next I have this cute little pot this is Tarte it's Amazonian clay 12 hour I think it's a long wear waterproof cream eyeshadow and you can see that it's a similar color and these really do stay all day and they have different colors to choose from this is just one of the colors that I have maybe the only one I have but it just screams summer it's easy wash on the lids to just make you pulled <laughs> to make you look more pulled together overall which is what we're going for and this one is right there and as you can see it just pulls actually I don't know if you can tell on the on the viewfinder anyway, but it does pull a little bit more of a taupey gray hint, but it's still overall a beautiful bronze color, but very, very close, as you can see, to that color tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. The last option I have is a Bobbi Brown cream eyeshadow, long wear cream eyeshadow. This is in the color Sand Dollar. These are by far my favorite out of the three that I've showed you. And this is a champagne bronze color. I cannot wait to wear this one, but I know the formula is amazing and it, it's probably the longest wear out of all three of these that I'm showing you. So right on the bottom there is Bobbi Brown Long Wear Cream Eyeshadow in Sand Dollar. That's got to be one of the most unique shades because it just pulls so many different colors. It pulls gray, bronze, champagne. It's just super beautiful. So I love all of those and I recommend if you have longer nails like mine are right now, I do recommend using a brush because it's kind of hard to dig in there. I got a lot of the product in, into my fingernails like in between there so it's kind of a waste of product. I love the Sephora Pro Cream Eyeshadow Brush. It's number 28 and I'll have that link below as well so if you want to check that out. It's like the most amazing eyeshadow brush, cream eyeshadow brush. So you get that beautiful wash of a bronzy champagne color on your eyelids and then you want to curl up your lashes and coat them with some waterproof mascara because it's just going to help define your eyes and you'll be ensured that it will stay all day whether you're at the pool or whatever if you're out and about and you sweat a lot. Basically in the summer. 
summer essentials. <laughs> so I wanted to show you one and I don't have my all time favorite one but this is the closest one that I have currently and my all time favorite summertime waterproof mascara is Maybelline the Falsies. Just the original Falsies. It just it's like a spooned brush and it just really defines my eyes and it's just great when you're not doing a whole lot of makeup but it will really give you those long beautiful volumized lashes so this is a new one I haven't tried it but I think it's gonna be perfect for summer it's Maybelline the falsies big eyes so it has the two brushes on each side the bigger brush for your eyes and then it has the smaller brush that I'm supposing is for your lower lash line so We'll have to see how that works and yeah, but I do love the Maybelline Falsies Waterproof for Summer, my favorite. Okay, so moving on to lips and notice I did skip cheeks just because when you're doing a summer look and you're kind of having just the essentials, you, I don't know, I would always pass on using a blush. I think a bronzer and your self tan skin is just enough. But you can certainly use a long wear blush or any blush you want to for that matter. I just left it out because for me it's not an essential. But lips and SPF on your lips is an essential. And I pulled some of my favorite lip products to throw in my beach bag and my pool bag and just to have in the summertime. They're the Maybelline Baby Lips. I feel like I'm on a Maybelline kit here. But this one I absolutely love to wear with absolutely no makeup when I am at the beach or at the pool. And this one is Pink Punch, number 25. So that is the packaging, if you guys haven't seen it. So cute. And these are super affordable. They're like four to five bucks maybe. This one is like a Barbie pink. But it goes on, it goes on pink, I'm not going to lie, but it, is, it does go on a little bit sheer, more sheer than it looks. So you can see that it's definitely not extremely pigmented, which is perfect. So you get a little bit of color and you can be assured that your lips will not be sunburned. Just make sure to reapply it often. And then this other one I have, this is just Yummy Plummy. I just pulled it so you guys know that there are options. Not my favorite color in the summer because I like more bright colors in the summer, but... There's options for tinted lip balms from the Baby Lips line. And the last beauty category before moving on to fashion and accessories is nail polish. Now, I have a cult favorite for you. It is the China Glaze Flip Flop Fantasy. It looks like that. I'm going to insert my nail of the day picture when I have this on because it is so beautiful. And it's just, it, it makes you look more tan even if you're not and it's perfect on your toes, on your fingers, it's perfect everywhere. <laughs> now this particular color does dry down to more of a matte finish, so what I like to do is take the Neon Bright Funness and add a little bit of glitter to it. And this combination is the perfect combination together. This glitter is refined, but it's enough to add that shine and gloss top coat, but not to take away or be like extremely circus like with the bright neon and then the glitter on top it is really perfect as you guys can see from the picture that I'm going to show you so this is Orly and it's called shine on crazy diamond it looks like that and these are both I get both from Sally Beauty but you can buy them a lot of different places I will try to find them and link them below for you but look how pretty that is and those are the two together and they just are such a beautiful combination especially if you're gonna be at the beach a lot and your toes are gonna be in the sand oh, I cannot wait for my toes to be in the sand <laughs> but glitter can really help hold on to your nail polish and it will make your pedicure last longer by using the glitter on top even though it's just really refined super refined glitter but I love those together so let's move on to fashion and accessories of course it's so important to have a hat you want to shield your face not only for health and cancer purposes but also for beauty and vanity purposes because when your skin is touched by the sun it ages you let me just tell you from my personal experience being tan and leathery looking is not worth it and it costs a lot of money when you get older to have it reversed and to get your skin back into good condition. I'll just tell you that for any of the younger viewers out there, it's just not worth it. So I love wearing a hat. <laughs> this is the hat that I have. I've had this for a couple years. I think I got it at 
think I got it at Target. I wear this hat when I walk across the street to get the mail. I, when I go outside for a hot second with my dogs, I wear this hat. I have it in my mud room, so it's close to the door that I'm coming in and out of. I wear the hat and I pull it really far down over my head. I have a lot of curls going on now and I do have extensions on, so I won't be able to, you know, really pull it down, but I love it. It's worn in enough that it's fun and I just love how it's plain but it also has like pink and green and navy blue and red little weaving details in there. Basically just find a hat you love, break it in, wear it all the time when you're outside because you want to protect your face. I will try to find a similar one and link it below for you guys so you can check it out. But this is just my fedora. What brand is it? It doesn't say the brand, but I'm pretty sure I got it at Target. I think another staple to have in your summer wardrobe is a really lightweight scarf that you can wear, maybe tie it around your purse, and if it gets a little bit chillier where you live at night, you'll have it so you can wrap it around yourself as just a little bit of comfort and a little bit of warmth, even though it is summer and hot, but a lightweight scarf, and you can even wear it as a scarf during the day. It might be a little hot some places to do that and you can also have it in your beach bag and you can wear it as a sarong around your waist but this is the one that I wanted to show you this is one of my newer scarves and it's so lightweight and it is made for summer because it's obviously lightweight this is by Stella and Dot of course and it's this really trendy iCat print I-K-A-T you guys will probably see this print a lot of different places just because it is so trendy and this is a beautiful I think it's called Palm Springs this print and it has a nice little border around it but it's so lightweight and it's just the colors are summer you can really pull a lot of the different colors out and make your outfit go around it get like yellow a yellow t-shirt looks so beautiful with this or yellow accessories so you can wear it like that. I've been wearing this around the house just because it's so beautiful and I don't know, I just wanted to wear it. But you can do a lot of different things with it. It is big enough that you can wear it as a sarong around your waist for a cover up at the pool. So it's really multi-purpose and any summer trips that I'm going to take, whether it's on a plane or in the car, to the beach, to the pool, this is going to be in my bag. And speaking of bag, I'm going to show you my newest one that I ordered specifically to have for summer for any little trips that I take to the pool. Now this bag that I, I'm going to show you, I probably wouldn't take it to the beach just because it's just too sandy. I only take really powdered and old ratty bags to the beach, like really old what are they called? Beach bags? Duh. <laughs> but it's just not worth it because the sand can really make it look dirty and it's just harder to clean. But at the pool, absolutely. And it's this bag also by Stella and Dot. And it looks like that. And it again is in that really trendy eye cat print, but it's this nice canvas material. And then it also has metallic. So it's a lot of different trends in one. This bag, it has the espresso handles and then hardware and stuff or gold hardware, but the dark espresso. So it looks like that. And the inside of this bag is so beautiful and so fun. It's like really bright in there. And what you can do with this bag is it has a zip closure, which is amazing because you know you can make sure it's zipped up and you make sure nobody is gonna get in there if you have to run to the bathroom or get run and get a snack or something at the pool because you guys know. <laughs> and then you can also did I tell you what it's called? It's called the How She Does It bag. You can also take that and clip it down and make it a satchel silhouette. So you can make it look smaller or bigger. That's what I love about Stella and Dot Pieces is their convertibility and their bags and their jewelry and everything. So I also want to show you my earrings. Obviously they match my whole outfit here, my necklace. These are Stella and Dot. And these are the Coral K earrings. And speaking of versatility with with Stella and Dot, I wanted to show you. So see how it's a chandelier earring? Well, get this. I, I'm going to take it off. I'm going to take it out. And yeah, it's just like this beautiful dangly earring. But what you can do is remove two of the, of the three little pieces that are on there. Remove it. And then you have like a little drop earring that's like that. So if this is too much for you, wearing like the statement necklace with the 
earrings that match and it might be if I was wearing my hair up I might just do these little ones but since my hair kind of hides it and they just kind of peek through I think it's okay but you can wear them like that and that's um, so fun the versatility of it so I just wanted to show you that in my last summer essential that I want to talk to you guys about is t-shirts you guys know my style is straight up statement jewelry or just some kind of fun jewelry with a t-shirt. That's what I'm wearing today and I think it looks amazing. It would look amazing with like white denim or you know dark denim skinny jeans, a skirt. You could really just dress it up and all this is is a scoop net t-shirt. I mean it's insane <laughs> and I think it just looks so good and I actually recently I was reading a magazine one of my I think it was in I don't know which I don't know what it was like in style or people style watch or or glamour or something like that but they had this shirt in there and then the the website was called threads for thought and so I was looking on the website and they have these essential shirts and they're only $12 and you can always search for a coupon code and I use the coupon code code social for 25% off so I mean 25% off for 12 bucks you can't beat that so I just wanted to show you the tag so you can get, see what the brand is. So that's what the tag looks like. And yeah, I just wanted to show you. Now the shirts are made out of 60% cotton and then 40% polyester, but the polyester is recycled. But what is so cool about that is that the 10% of the purchase price on these essential t-shirts, they have v-necks, they have tank tops and long sleeve v-neck t-shirts and they're just really comfortable and really nice. I have them in probably like 10 colors. <laughs> and let's see, New Roots, or 10% of the purchase price will be donated to the International Rescue Committee's New Roots program. And then New Roots helps refugees to grow healthy food for their families and our communities. So that is so awesome. I mean, you are getting a bargain just purchasing the shirts if you need any t-shirts and it's also giving back at the same time and that's a, a double a double win so those are my summer essentials please let me know in the comments below what your summer essentials are and I just love reading your comments and don't forget to check out Crystal's summer essentials video which again will be linked below and also the link to her online trunk show will be linked below if you want to check out any of the stuff that I featured from Scylla and Dot and yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you all have a great summer and a great long weekend you don't have to work <laughs> and I'll see you guys later bye